i'll be talking about how to uh, use the android permissions runtime permissions uh, in react native's new architecture so you might be wondering why we need to write a native module for this right so you can uh, do something like android permissions uh, i think there was something called permissions android i guess so permissions android and from here i can get all the permissions right but the permission android uh, from react native does not give you all type of permission so suppose you want bluetooth permission it does not have any functionality for that it only gives you like uh, camera permission or file reading permission something like that but it does not provide you all the permissions uh, as well as i have noticed that one uh, user has complained about health connect uh, permission which was which is not directly available in react native you have to write native code for it uh, also i have not written this for ios because um, for ios you don't have to write uh, extra code to uh, request a permission suppose you are using a camera the permission dialog is automatically presented by the ios system or the os itself you don't have to write extra code for it and depending on whether the user accept or reject it you get some, you get a call back in and in ios also you get a call back in android as well but you have first to use camera you have to write the camera permission that's why this module is only specific to android and that's why i'm not using the permission android the other issue with permissions android is i think it is still using the on activity result which has been deprecated in android for quite a while now so i, I think it is a little dangerous to use permissions android last time i checked it was still using the deprecated method i'm not sure if they have uh, managed to uh, update it to the a latest api or not uh, but yeah i would be careful with this and uh, as it is deprecated it might crash or even fail uh, in newer android versions so what i have done is that i have created a default react native project uh, then i have to enable uh, the new architecture for android so just search for uh, new arc enabled and go to gradle.properties and make this as true next uh, you have to create this folder rtn app version rtn my permission sorry and here i have created an android folder a js folder uh, next i have created a package.json so i have just copy pasted this package.json from over here only thing that has been changed is uh, this name this name uh, this name uh, this name and this java package name next uh, go to your uh, js folder and create the typescript file again i have copy pasted it from the documentation over here uh, and change it accordingly uh, to my convenience like this name should be changed and here i'm just uh, showing you how to ask the camera permission but if you want you can ask any kind of permissions which you want uh, so i am just asking for camera permission for now next what you have to do is yeah i will go to the main android folder go to build.gradle and i will add this kotlin version here and class path for kotlin as well because i want to use kotlin and not java next go to app build.gradle and i will add this apply plugin kotlin android as well as i will add this implementation kotlin standard lib as well next i will create an android folder and inside that you have to create build.gradle file so here so we we are ignoring ios so inside that create a build.gradle file and again i have copied everything from the documentation only thing that has been changed is uh, this apply plugin kotlin android as well as this uh, kotlin standard lib and here also i have added my namespace of rt and my permissions next we have to create this folder structure so i have created src main java com rt and my permission and for now just create my permission package and here uh, instead of this code you have to write just return null uh, this is because you have not run code gen yet so just keep this as it is next what you have to do is you have to run code gen okay so for android so first you have to open your uh, terminal 
and then you have to run this command so in the documentation they have specified double dot because they have created this folder outside the react native project but rs is inside so we have to run only single dot slash rtm my permission next you have to cd to your android and run this command so once you run this command uh, it will generate a code gen which you can see inside your node modules rtn uh, my permissions once that is done you have to go to my permission package and now you can just copy paste this code for now it is basically referring to this file my permission module which you can again create new and uh, here what i'm doing is that i have just copy pasted everything from the documentation uh, only the file name has been changed and java code has been converted to kotlin code so what we have to do is we want the camera permission right so first go to your main android folder app src main android manifest.xml i have added this camera permission next uh, you have to go to your main activity dot kt so inside the main folder android folder itself go to main activity dot kt and uh, here you can just uh, add this code so first you have to add this uh, so again this file also have converted to kotlin so in android studio there is an option of converting a java code to kotlin which you can just google it it is available in android studio itself once that is done you have to just copy paste this two line now i want the camera permission but in your, your case if it is different you can just type whatever you want like read file or write file whatever next uh, you have to write this code so this callbacks uh, this is a callback which gets automatically called whenever you request a permission from my permission uh, module so once you call my when in from when you call this code from ask for my camera permission this callback gets triggered and from if it is successful uh, like if it is permissions are granted then i'm uh, sending the data to react native if not uh, i'm if then i'm sending it as true if not then i'm sending it as false i'm sending the result as false and this is kind of like an helper method to check whether all permissions has been granted or not next inside my permissions module again i have written the same thing which i have written over in my activity yeah, so if you want you can write this uh, in a separate file so that you don't have to repeat code inside your activity and in your permissions module but you have to write something like this to request the permission so this basically requests the permissions and this uh, this is a comp companion object which i have created so ignore this like uh, this is was this was for my testing so rt and my permissions so once you call this code it automatically calls the on request permission and depending on whether the permission has been granted or not it sends back the result to react native once that is done you have to go to app.tsx so before that you have to again run this command yarn add dot slash rt and my version my permission sorry and you can import it something like this so this is how you would import the library now uh, i have used a device event emitter uh, to listen for results uh, the reason is that we can't send the result back from my permissions module uh, easily like i know you can uh, somehow call the uh, my permissions module from main activity but that is extremely tedious that's why i am passing the result directly back from main activity to react native and to listen to it you can use device event emitter and we are listening for the result parameter and here it will print true or false depending on whether you have granted the permission or not so yeah that's it thank you for watching uh, bye